Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with your host Will and co-host Mr. DC. Coming to you live on 88.1 WHPR every Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live call-in numbers 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Also with live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. See our past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. And now... Ladies and gentlemen, straight sports talk. No professionals here. Here's your host, Will, with co-host, Mr. DC. And you're hot. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, sitting up here with DC. What's going on? What's up, what's up? March the 2nd, 2014. Welcome. Yeah. A lot of things. Almost March Madness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're getting in that billion-dollar bracket? Yes, I will be getting into that. Now, you're going a little tidbit. They're only letting 10 million people in, so you got to get your... I'm going to do that as soon as, they come, uh, as soon as the brackets come out. I will no, 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 no. What you have to do, you got to go to uh, the website, email your address, give them your address, uh, and then what they're going to do is email you back. The bracket? Yeah, okay, you I'm fill it out. That. But don't let you got to get in ASAP. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And you know, the more people you know that you can trust, the better your chances of winning. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, hello, yeah, hello, yeah, hello, yeah, hello. Okay. okay, I might do that. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We come back. We're going to get off at, uh, I'm going to talk some NFL. You know, what they're about to do with the N-word in the NFL. And, uh, oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, see what your thoughts is on that. So um, we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. And yeah. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM 88.1, WHPR.com. Past shows are at Detroit sportsjersey.com straight sports talk no professionals here now back to host will and mr dc all right dc and you welcome back to detroit sports jersey you 88.1 fm over oh, playing with the mics i see <laughs> nothing else to do huh <laughs> uh dc the yes, n word in nfl they're gonna start uh, coming down on, on players. the players to use it on the field First time they hear it, it's a 15-yard penalty. Second time you use it, you throw it out the game. Your thoughts? I, I, how, how often? How like you really be listening that hard? <laughs> well, when you, well, when you a ref, uh, you are close up to I the mean, action. Yeah, you are close up to the You're action. Close to the action and the player, so you you hear, you know. It's, it's good and, and good and bad, but I don't think they're gonna be that up close and hear what them players be actually saying. I don't know. Uh, what twists me out about it is they gonna come down on the N word, but they won't change the red skin name that offended American Indians. Oh, American Indians. Uh, well, they said they was gonna change it. Dad Snyder said he ain't changing oh, nothing. Man. That's up to him, not the NFL. Well, that's well, up to there him. you go then. Well, he said he know. ain't changing nothing. Be mad. I mean, if that's the case, if you gonna do it. <laughs> if you gonna charge him for the NFL, you might as well do it uh, in the NBA too. Um. Yeah. Because they said in the NBA, so, you know, might as well. I'm going to admit, do that word bother you? It don't bother me. Nah. <laughs> I have no problem with it. Nah, it don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Let's take this call real fast and see what's going on out there in the world. <laughs> Detroit Sports Jersey. Name and where you calling from. What's up? It's a long horn. Call it from Texas. What's, what's going up, on, Longhorn? Long horn? What's go what can we do for you? Hey, man, you know, just, <laughs> just feel it, man, just feel it. Hey, uh, question, what do y'all think of uh, that Ray Lewis situation, man? I heard last week y'all was on the show and talking about uh, giving them suspended for some games and stuff like that. You say whose situation? The guy who knocked the girl out. Oh, Ray, Ray Rice? Rice? 
Ray Wright. Okay. Ray, Ray Lewis. Lewis. Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think he should be suspended for yeah, a year. I, yeah. yeah, I would say, do, I I would say do a year. Man. I'd say for a couple of games. What's wrong with this dude, man? Well, if they <laughs> suspended on, players for use, uh, using racial <laughs> slurs for eight games, come on, if you're knocking out your woman in the elevator oh, yeah. and dragging yeah. her out like yesterday's garbage, <laughs> I mean, it's on videotape. <laughs> and he yeah, can't deny on, that. It is on videotape. So right. I said, yeah, yeah, no pay. You know you know what his defense is going to be? What's what that? He's going to use the R. Kelly defense. It wasn't me. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. I'm about to hang up on him. <laughs> he just offended me. He had to get personal. Never shaggy anyway. He got mad. How fast can we change this number here, dog? <laughs> 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 Only he got mad. Can have this he, got mad he, he got mad because he he got mad because he threw out our Kelly man. <laughs> <laughs> mm, see these sweat beads on my head now. <laughs> yeah, man, man. Hey, uh, hey, you know what? My feeling about it, man, that dude should be spending for a couple of years with no pay. Well, that's not no going to happen. That's not going to happen. See, the NFL accept those type of players. You got players that hit beat their women, they drug, drink. They um, drink and drive, kill people. They can still play in the NFL. So it ain't nothing going to happen. They ain't going to slap him on the wrist, unfortunately. Yep. That's just how the business goes. Yep. So they're like just, the one who, business. Didn't they, they have one in the NFL who beat up their moms or something? Yeah, your yeah. boy down in Texas, um, Brian. Dad's Brian. He beat up yeah. his mama. Huh? Wow, it's all it, about it, that money, bro. What they do? Suspend him a game or two? Yeah, two games. That was it. They got suspended for two games. How can you only get suspended two games for beating your mama? Uh, but you know what? If he, if he had to beat that mama, then then that, that dude had life in prison, dog. Oh you yeah. If he was a normal person, no. Uh, yeah. If he was a normal person, yeah, it would give him life in prison. And I tell you what, I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna do one of guru numbers. I'm gonna throw the card out there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sounds like the race card. <laughs> about to be thrown on the table. Uh, go ahead Sorry. with it. Go no, with it. We don't use that card over here, but. <laughs> If Ray Girl was a white woman, oh, they'd be through. They'd be through, brother. He wouldn't be in the NFL no more. He, he have his walking papers as soon as the video came out. You know I, what I'm saying? I tend to agree with you on that because they do, if it's another race, a white female and a black guy do something. Like, for instance, with the Tiger Woods situation. Oh, oh they yeah. blasted that oh, all yeah, over yeah, ESPN. Yeah, yeah. Because he cheated on his wife. But check this out. Shaq and Kobe did the same. Well, they dragged Kobe through the mud. Because he no, Kobe, did, Kobe did that to himself. Well, he allegedly Kobe raped the white that to woman. But, you know, but Shaq cheated on his woman. They didn't make no big deal over it. That's his boy. They, cause I, they weren't concerned about Shaq. No, no, because his Kobe. wife was black. Oh, yeah, true that. He's black. <laughs> nah, nah, that's why. So they that's do treat us up, differently. Man. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how it is. With Ben Rosslenberg, same thing. They didn't do him as bad as they did Kobe. Yep, yep. You yeah, know, well, it's, you know, it's, so another, yeah. it's another topic. Uh, we got to say about them cats uh, in, the, in, in in professional sports, all them tattoos. And I was watching some show the other day, and uh, the commentator was talking about, uh, it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? They have all the tattoos on their neck. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm near their ears like that's the bird man. Yeah, he, he tattoos from the, neck, from the neck down. Well, see, it's obviously that he they don't plan on getting no regular job when the career is over with. <laughs> that's that. They, obviously, yeah, that's, 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 that's the game real, plan. That's the real game. So they <laughs> must have enough money to live off for the rest of their lives, you know. So yep. it is what it is. I mean, if I'm making $10, 15000000 million a year, Banking half for that. I'm not, I'm not going out there looking for no nine to five when I'm through. No. Because that's the well. Because that's the, if you make six years in the NBA, you get paid a thousand dollars a week for the rest of your life. What? And yeah, if you play at least six years in the NBA, you get a thousand dollars a week for the rest of your life from them. What? Man, I need to go, 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 go pick up the rock, man. So, what can I say? I mean, give me a six-year deal. You ain't got to play me. Just let me make that six-year tenure, and I'm out of that. And then, um, like, uh, I was, was listening to the uh, uh, this financial report, and if you got 
was it 13, I think it's 7 million or 13 million dollars in the bank right now, you can gross a million dollars a year in interest. So some of the players, man, you know, are going to do all right. Some of them not. We know which it, ones it that's not the, the ones. Right, that, depends on how they spit in their money. Yeah, so, we know which know. ones that's not. I will mean, bring out the race card on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all seen broke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen broke. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of salt and pepper on there, but more pepper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they about to ban the N word. Um. In the NFL, um, oh, the hell am I on long on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was that R. Kelly name got the all switch on. Ain't gonna go on hell. Oh, man. Oh, man. Say he about to cut you off, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just you pulled R. R. Kelly jokes today, huh? <laughs> I bet you couldn't wait to use them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going to ban it on the field. 15-yard uh, penalty the first time they hear it, and you throw it out the game the second time. Your thoughts before I hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they can ban it on the field. I mean, I, I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, but, you know the bros, the bros still going to call each other that, you know what I'm saying, on, on the queue, on the down low anyway. You know what I'm saying? But, on the field, yeah, I can, I can get with that. You know what I'm saying? They can, they can kick them out the game on a you know, 15 yard penalty. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's take a walk into the dead of life of the Longhorn military. How often do you, you hear that word on the base? On the base? Yeah, how often do the captain call you? Pick that up, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, march, my nigga. I mean, I mean, how often do you hear that? At ease, my oh, nigga. Know. I mean, how often do you hear that? And let's just take a walk. At ease, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, how often hear do you word. hear that? You're not gonna hear that word on the base. I tell you that. Not, not a, uh, not doing you no know, conversation. Now, I walk. I have walked past, you know, young soldiers and, you know, young soldiers saying themselves, uh, calling them that, uh, you know, referring each other like that or. Uh, like when they go out to, you know, with the folks together, playing phones or spades, you know, I've heard them say that, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I, I walk past the vehicles, cars, where people are playing their music, they're using that word to the whole, from the beginning to the, the end, song. you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mean, is that like a banned word on, you know, post, or like y'all can freely use it? Like, let's say in a war, and a bullet, you know, just... <laughs> Wheels over your head, you be like, "Oh my God, that nigga just got me!" <laughs> man, I mean, he don't on the road I mean, today, boy. Know, I mean, I mean, y'all allowed to use that in, you know, combat? It's, it's a, uh, it's a moral, mental conscious. You may not use that word because that word, a supervisor or, or officer or sergeant or anybody calls somebody that word. So, you know, in the army, man, we got we got to take culture classes, and ethics class, ethics classes, and uh, you know, just sometimes as you get older, just sometimes that you don't use in a in a professional environment, and uh, you go around throwing that word around, and you laugh to get dealt with behind the box, behind the behind one of the buildings, and get how they say in the biker boys get some act right put on you. So uh, you don't go around using that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, they're like the uh, but the army is changing. <laughs> They're like the uh, tattoo situation we just talked about a couple minutes ago. You know, when that was when that was a heightened war, before the war started, got real real up there. You couldn't come in the army if you had tattoos on your hands or around your neck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But that but as they needed more bodies to send up, send over to Iraq, and I was out there recruiting, they they lacked up on that. Okay, you can come in with tattoos on your hands, your neck, your fingers, as long as it's not offensive. Wow, then they got okay. this new cat in charge, and now he's talking about his unprofessional. But well, my thing is like, it wasn't unprofessional. Okay, I'm doing my soapbox now. It wasn't, it wasn't unprofessional when you need a cat to go overseas, you know what I'm saying? But now we're back in a peaceful like environment, back to the States, and now it's like, oh, that's unprofessional. As if he wasn't in the Army when all this other stuff was going on. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that, that word, any you know, other word, racial slurs and things of that nature, Oh yeah, that's uh, you can get that with uh, uh, taking money from your paycheck, plus the diet and rank, all that type of stuff. Uh, okay, so. okay, that's a good one. 
Life of Longhorn. Life of Longhorn, yeah. A day in the life of Longhorn. We appreciate that. <laughs> we, <laughs> we appreciate that info. Hey, I, I got to get the weather report, man. I, heard like <laughs> I, I knew that was, I was going to call it, too. I was like, yeah, hey, I'm surprised Longhorn ain't gave a weather report, but here you okay, go. what is it? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Well, yesterday was 81. I heard y'all. You started from yesterday. You started from yesterday. Right? <laughs> Fresh from hey, Sad. Your week starts on sad. Yesterday was 81. What's today? The, 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 the day high is going to be a high, high low of 49. You know what I'm saying? That's a big drop. That's a big drop. Yeah, but come Thursday, we're going back up to 70. So we can deal with that. Wait, how you go from Sunday to Thursday, though? <laughs> What happened to Monday know. through th- Monday through Wednesday, man? I don't know, you know, because up there, I know y'all used to that constant hump whipping up on y'all. So I don't know how y'all live up there no more, man. I just can't. I don't know, man. My yeah. life decision yeah. making sucks. I'm trying to say. I got to reevaluate my decisions in life. You know, I'm up here freezing, man. I mean. Trying to know whether if I need to go to work or not because of the snow. Um, hey, y'all, y'all check out the combine, man? Yeah, I did. No, you let me tell you why I don't really care about that. What? Because, you let me tell why, you. Man, why? Let me tell you why. Because first of all, it's stupid. <laughs> all these pre-draft, uh, these as so-called experts, they never get it right. I'll give you a perfect example. When the Unibri was coming out of Kentucky, you know, everybody had the picks. So, you know, I wrote them down, whatever, kept up with all ESPN, Sports Illustrated, they so-called expert picks. Of course, everybody know Unibrow was going number one. That wasn't no secret. Everybody knew that. After that, every so-called expert had every pick wrong. Wrong. You know, on the field. I don't care about what you can jump high with no pads on, run fast. I want to see you hit somebody and get hit. But you know what? There there was one coach on the, the, uh, I think he was talking to the linebacker. At, you know, at the end of the day, there a little test, right? And he told he told the players, and, and that and this made sense to me. He said he went down through the picks of the Super Bowl winners, the Seattle Seahawks. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he saw that. And he was like, there was no number one on that team who who made the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, he had number seven draft pick, and number six draft pick, number four. Somebody who said they wouldn't even make it in the league. The MVP, who was the worst one in the combine, made the MVP. You know what I'm saying? So he let them, he let them guys know, hey, don't sit here thinking just because you're not the number one favorite out here on the field, you, you can't be a great in NFL. That's why I said it's a waste you know? of time and garbage. It's just like your boy in uh, Baltimore, the linebacker, Terrell. Uh, Terrell says. He, they had him down running the, you know, the slowest at four, eight, yeah, four, four, something, four, something like that. Something like, look how his career turned out. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. It's, it's, man, come on. It's just a waste of time. You mm-hmm. know, that's all it is, bull crap. What y'all gonna do with that, that, uh, uh, that'd be, uh, uh, UFC fighter y'all got through up there. Y'all still keep them out there. <laughs> oh? Come on, sir. That UFC fighter, that MMA fighter, that, that fits the cup, stomping on people, uh, uh, WWL football player got called through up there. Oh, uh, actually, you know, I like Sue. Blue? I got in. Hey. I got moved to the front of the line using Sue name. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to say. Don't you tell me you were first name football player. <laughs> that name just happened to slip out of my mouth. Now I can't help it if they took it seriously. I, <laughs> that ain't my fault that they don't watch football. <laughs> Sue sit four solid as a rock on five ten and chubby. Well, where, where do you? <laughs> Where is the connection right. at That's right not a there? Good connection right there. Uh, I can't help it. Nah. They say we all look alike, <laughs> six, four, and five, ten. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get in late with this really, really, That's a very big height difference right there. <laughs> like the other day, man, I heard a name. I heard a name I haven't heard in years. I went to this uh, this home and garden show, and uh, this guy was like, "Man, you know, you look like I said, who? You look like Derek Cole." Wow. I said, what? Out here in Texas, I said, Derek Coleman. <laughs> well, I said, who is that? I said, that's a guy who used to play football, I mean, basketball, way, way back in the day. 
Yeah, he was all right. He was, he was all right. He right play. He was all, you know, about, I'd give him about a B for his career. Yeah. He could have been an A if he took it more seriously. But he yeah. was all yeah. right. Oh hey, boy, with the Northern High School here. Yep, yep. Went to Syracuse. He still had a house in Detroit, didn't he? Huh? He still had a house in Detroit? Yeah, he still yeah, got a house in Detroit. Yeah, he still got a house in Detroit. Yeah, he still got a house in Detroit. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so I told Sunshine, that's my wife, that y'all don't know who that is. I told Sunshine, I said, maybe I should have used that like, like on Will did. Got me some discount. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get no discount. I just got moved to the front of the um, line. I didn't get no one no discount jumping off. <laughs> <What? laughs> he just got a free table without even yeah, putting uh, his name on the front list. front of the line, brother. That was it. <laughs> that was it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go in this gym and, and throw some weight around. You know, if, if the insurgents come, I'll be ready for them. <laughs> Case who come? Insurgents. Insurgents. Okay. Y'all got them in Texas. <laughs> hey, that's another. That's another word. That's another name for the N word. We call them insurgents. Uh, 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 all right, Lamar. Right. Don't let no brother. We don't let you get in jail. We don't. <laughs> you know, I thought y'all didn't use that word in the military. <laughs> I know we use insurgents. <laughs> all right, Lamar. We appreciate you calling in. All right, y'all take care now. All right, All right. you too. All right, take it easy. Yep. Oh, Longhorn, something else. <laughs> I'm waiting on the guru to call it. I got a, uh, oh, I'm going to clown on him about this Michigan U of M team. He, uh, that was a good game. Yeah, but no, nah, he said ever since that they was bummed. Remember last oh, week? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. The Michigan State, they should have won that game, too, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, they could. Boy, that was, was like, no, no, G-Mo, they had too much defense for them boys. Them no, boys were I mean, well, deep. no, because Michigan, like, who, uh, Illinois was giving them the game. Michigan State was like, no, we don't want it. No, they they had, Michigan State had so many opportunities to win the game, but they couldn't win it. You can't win no game on 16 turnovers. Yeah, Jack, that, I'm that, sorry. That, that, you can't, you can't yeah, win no game yeah, on yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll come back, and um, I'm going to address – 49er situation, what's going on down there. And I you know, I joke around a lot about them, you know, I left them <laughs> to be a lot, but I do really got something seriously to say when we come back about the situation that's going on with the GM and the 49ers coach. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-3941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. You're listening to a Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Now, back to Host Will and Mr. DC. All right, uh, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. DetroitSportsJersey.com shows uploaded just in case you miss it. You're out there listening. Yeah. All right, let me address this situation going on with my favorite football team, the 49ers. Oh, it's There's some team, beef man. going on down there with the GM and my head coach. First of uh -oh. all, uh -oh. they threatened to send him to Cleveland, which I'm quite sure Jim wouldn't have showed up. No, nah, uh, he wasn't he would doing not, that. Like, Y'all nah, crazy. Nah. But let me tell you what Jim has done, done in the last uh, three years. Let me, t let me start with what the 49ers done eight years before he got there. Nothing. <laughs> Can they get a playoff win? This is what they done. No, no, no. This is what they done in the last eight years before he got there. Zero winning season. So that, that kills your playoffs. Okay. <laughs> I thought they had zero one playoff, division man. titles. Made zero playoff appearance. Oh. <laughs> I thought they made one. Three playoff. years after my boy Jim gets there. You got every year three we playoff win twelve games. Three playoff with one Super Bowl appearance. 
two division titles, hosted one conference championship, played in eight playoff games, won five, and came within a goal line stance of winning the Super Bowl and a play this year of going back to the Super Bowl. That's a good. That's a good record right there. You, can't, you can't beat that. That's a good record. Now here's this one the GM has done. He was a scout for the Jets. Whoop de do. Ninety-eight to two thousand. Four years with the Redskins as a national scout and a college doing some college scouting. I still ain't came to no playoffs yet. That was I was waiting for that. Two, like, <laughs> <laughs> 2011, he was named general manager of GM. He came over in 2005 in some other, you know, capacity. But I don't see nothing about winning there. I, I, nah. Why are they messing with my boy? And I'm telling you right now, if Jim go, I'm going. I'm, I would never be a 49ers fan. You, you heard it here first, right here. Uh -oh. I will burn everything that I own, which I know making some people happy. <laughs> All 49ers <laughs> stuff will be going straight to the garbage. If they fire, you heard it I'm here through with first. them. I am Will through. Will not be a 49ers fan. I am Jim through. Go. If Jim, if they run him out of town, get that man his money, pay him. Now the problem mm -hmm. is he want to be paid like a Super Bowl winning coach, he which I understand that. But you ain't want it, Jim. I understand that. I understand that. But don't act like he haven't done anything. He hasn't no, no, done he, anything. He, he got you. Don't to disrespect the, Super Bowl. the man. Don't disrespect the man. But I understand what they're saying. Jimbo want to be played, paid ten million a year, like he don't want the Super Bowl. I understand that part of it. That's business. But just don't disrespect my boy. You talking about trading him to Cleveland? Man, what is disrespect? Like Cleveland don't have nobody. Yes. What, 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 what would I go there for? Start over. Well, I, I look at I look at <laughs> Cleveland and um. Uh, you might as well start. That's, and like, that's a waste. I'm not going. Basically, there. you're starting over. No, I'm gonna make me a few more calls. I, <laughs> I'm not going there. Man, please. They are totally disrespecting my boy. I I'm pissed. I I'm mad, you. man. I I out yes. If he leave, I'm through with the 49ers. I'm sorry, I'm through. But they let me know they don't know what the hell they doing down there. Here go the two coaches before Jim Harbaugh, Mike Nolan and Mike Singletary. Done nothing. Nothing. Mike Singletary pulling down his pants, telling the team, kiss his butt. Man, come on, man. Come on. Let's yeah, get real. He should have just been a linebacker coach, not a head coach. Some some coaches should just be their position coach, not head coach. Oh, but I feel man, you though. What's if, going if, on with Darren Sharper, man? What's up with him? Oh, uh, an investigation. It, sexual sexual assault cases in LA. Like three, like three, Florida, three or four states. Nevada and Arizona. He's a serial rapist. Yeah, they say if convicted, he could be like he could well, be he get, like twenty five years. No, 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 no. If he get convicted in LA, he getting thirty. Ooh. If he get convicted in Lord, I think it's life. Yeah. He might have been. And I liked him as a player. Yeah, yeah. Dan Sharper was a good player. Uh, Dan Sharper was a I good mean, player. I mean, for y'all that don't he know, that'd be like he Barry Sanders green, yeah. being accused. He was on that Green Bay Super Bowl team. You like, did he what? play for, uh, <laughs> did he, was he on that New Orleans team when they won? Um, he was with New Orleans from 2009 to 10. Yeah, okay, he was on that Super Bowl team. Yeah, he was with the Vikings from 05 to 08 and the Packers from 97 to 04. He, he got two Super Bowls, so. Uh, and he was and, on the NFL yeah, Network. Yeah, he was on the NFL Network, yeah. I don't know how that happened. Man, ah, man. I'm shocked, dog. I'm shocked by that. I, I, yeah. That news shocked me, yeah, I, yeah, man, I like, for real. Is there another Darren Sharper? I was like, this can't be the same one that played in NFL, is it? He drugging women. And I was like, him. wow. Some other guy, man. Come on, man. What are you doing? Like, what the? What is y'all doing? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Super Bowl champ twice. Twice. On the NFL. Now, I don't need to rape. But you know what they always say? It ain't about rape sex. It's about that power. When you got to do that. I don't know what. I don't know, man. I'm just shocked by it, man. I'm just totally shocked. You know that he would be involved in, if he is allegedly now. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly, you know what allegedly means. Like, I would, and four or five.
a shout out to a local homeboy headed went to my high school, Southeast, and played for your uh, Raven, Bart Scott. Oh, Bart Scott. Oh, yeah. Hired as the new studio analyst for CBS, so somebody out of Southeast and finally made it. <laughs> man, he don't got no Super Bowl ring, but you know, yeah, uh, somebody finally made. It. I'm happy. Now, what you think about them replacing uh, uh, what's my man, uh, Shannon Sharp and Dan Marino? I like, I like, I like, the, I like them. I don't know who you're going to replace them with, but I did like Shannon Sharp and Dan Marino. You know what's funny about Shannon, Shannon Sharp to me sometimes? And I know I don't speak good English and I'm broken words. And it, but, man, some of the times I can't understand him and I would be <laughs> cracking up. And I'm the last person. But, man, I'd be like, what is Does, Don't he got a lisp or something? Don't he got a lisp? I think his tongue is too big for his mouth. <laughs> I think he got a lisp or something, but I like Shannon Sharp, you know. So, I, I, I wasn't really too fond of Dan Marino, but I mean, you know, I like Shannon Sharp. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, congratulations to Bart um, Scott, Detroit Southeastern alumni. You know, played for the uh, Ravens and the Jets. <coughs> so, congratulations to that young man. All right, when we come back, uh, got a couple of ladies, got the voice and her friend Cindy in the studio. Studio here. And uh, come back, I got some things I want to ask them. Top 25 things women need to stop doing. <laughs> and I'll finish that sentence when I come back after a word from yeah. my sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will and Mr. DC. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before I get into this topic here about the uh, top 25 things girls need to stop doing or women need to stop doing, check this out, D.C. Volvo, yeah. come, they are uh, the car maker, Volvo. Let me ask you how you feel about this. You know, you get packages delivered to your house, right? Uh -huh. Let's say you're not home. Uh -huh. So now they about to put a device in your car where they can actually deliver the package to your car. How do you feel about that? They call it roaming, they call it roam delivery. A one time digital key will open the car and they will leave the packages inside the car. Yeah, I'm not cool with that. Maybe available <laughs> in the next two years, I'm at least cool in Sweden. That. I'm not cool with that. You're not cool with no, that? No, I'm not cool with that. <laughs> How you feel about that voice? Chime in over there. Let the people know. Wake up. <laughs> So they, they can unlock your car door and leave the package inside it? Yes. Like if you're not at home or whatever, they're able to try the car not, down. I'm not good with that. <laughs> well, I mean, can they leave it in the trunk? Yeah, so far <laughs> they can open your home. No, no, they're going to leave it in the drive and see, <laughs> put the seat belt on. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and put some sunglasses on the block. <laughs> they can put some sunglasses and a hat on the box. <laughs> like, <laughs> like when you come back, you got the whole hook on the box. I don't have a problem with that because it's such a pain when you know you miss the delivery and then you have the note on say, the door. Don't, don't they put like a sticker on your on your on your I mailbox and that you miss to, it or something yeah, like that? Yeah, you have to come home, read the sticker, and then try to get the delivery again. <laughs> try to coordinate. I mean, so you say you do or don't like it? I do like, I like the idea. Oh, you like the idea? Yeah, just leave it in there, because they're coming up to your door anyway, right? So, yeah. Yeah, what's the problem? I have no problem with that. I kind of miss 50-50 on that, you know, because my thing is this. The only problem, drawback I have to that is, let's see, you know, somebody see them putting a package in your car. 
whether it's in the trunk or they, I mean, car somebody car, might yeah, go get gonna, it. Yeah, they gonna bust your trunk or you want to pay. That can walk. happen at home also. <coughs> Where? With the with them leaving a package on the door. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, that's true. Somebody can walk off and take off with your package. That's right. But I'd rather them to walk off with it and bust my trunk and my window. Well, leave the car unlocked. <laughs> oh, 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 all right, then oh, moving oh, on. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's check that Volvo hotline real fast for Shaza. There you go, right <laughs> there. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is it. They've been waiting on. Here we go. The top 25 things. The top 25 things women need to stop posting on social media. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I threw you off this morning, didn't I? Yeah, y'all was guessing. She doesn't do social media. Okay, I'm going to give you 25 through 20. And, uh, so I mean, throw me some out there. What, what y'all think some of them on the list? Okay, so things that women should People stop doing. People put all their business on there. Stop. They can hear me. I'm loud. I said people put all their personal business on Nope, that's not on the list. Okay. Well, yes, it needs to be. <laughs> Karen, I, you I know agree, what? Yeah, you know I what? I'm gonna yeah, I agree with that. Shit. Know that, should, that should be definitely. You know what? I'm gonna give you that one because that comes that under be text on conversation. List. So I'm gonna give that, you that. That should be oh, extremely on the I'm list. That should be that number twenty-five. Number eighteen. <laughs> Number 18. What, putting their personal business on social yeah, media? That text conversation. You see a lot. Okay. I'll tie yeah, that in yeah. there with that. But throw something else out there. Uh, I would say arguments on social media. That comes under text conversations. Can we get some <laughs> <laughs> All that come under conversations. <laughs> Same thing. Um, oh, how about like um, posting inappropriate pictures of themselves? Is that on there? That should be on there too. Actually, to be honest with you, no. Dog. Yeah, like those ducklet pictures aren't on there, though. The duck pictures? They're not on there. Those should be on there. Okay, I'm going to give you number 25. All right. The sunset. Hmm? I mean? see a lot of that when people take pictures of like you know the sun setting. So what's wrong with that? I'm just telling you that's on the list. It says that people should quit posting the sunset on social media. Yeah, that's media. number twenty five. Let me give you number twenty five. I don't see nothing wrong with that one. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see nothing. I see wrong a with lot that. of that on it. I ain't saying nothing wrong, but I do see a lot of that on it. I see a lot of this one on there too. Laying out of the legs, where you just see them. You know, you see leg shots on that, like they laying down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I do see that. I'm guilty of that because I did that when I was in Jamaica, but that's because the ocean's out in front of my feet, so it was. Yeah, that's this. why. There's a reason for those. There's pictures. another one on here that I bet you done done too. Probably. <laughs> 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 my personal business is not on there though. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> right, okay, let's go. okay. <laughs> here go number twenty-three. The top twenty-five things women need to stop posting on the social media. Number 23, alcohol and beer. Like posting, what do you mean? Like you taking know, pictures you know, of yeah, it? Yeah, a lot of people take, like, you know, when they're going to drink tonight, when you see a table up a trunk. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You know, stuff but like I that. I do that too. Huh? I have, I have all sorts of guys that put on my Facebook that post pictures of their mm-hmm. alcohol too. Yeah, um, I think guys and, guys and women and guys do that too, so. Number 22, pets. Don't nobody care about your cat. <laughs> <laughs> I do see a lot of that. I do see a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah, I agree with I would, that one. I just post a picture of my dog, but mm-hmm. I don't do it obsessively. I do it you like have once. But most people love their animals, though. Most people take like fifty like million pictures of their animals and put them on social media. So yeah, I agree with that. Now, one. This number twenty one, I was kind of shocked it was on the list. Children. They don't want to see your snotty nose kids. <laughs> well, <laughs> some of them see some of the right, stuff. Especially if they're ugly, yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? You know, these some comments, are asked, I just wrote down the thing. But actually, these comments are, that is what, following at the comment, they say they don't nobody, don't nobody want to see your That's snotty nose kids excessively. and they boo-boo diapers. Don't know <laughs> They're excessive, that's so what are why people supposed to post? You can't post your sunset, your pets, your kids. Number 20. Your dreams. Do y'all know what OOTV is? Uh-oh. Outfit of the day. <laughs> I see a lot of that, too. I see a lot of that. They're laid out that's on the bed. <laughs> They're laid out on the bed. <laughs> OOTV outfit of the day. Number 19, selfies. I hate that. Yeah, I, 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 I hate that. I say there's not much left to post now. 
No, it's not. No, it's not. No. no. Number seven. Well, number eighteen. Pets conversation. Which y'all got? Number seventeen. Pet selfies. <laughs> I see a lot of that on there. Now this one, I was shocked it was on there. I don't know what women be doing this, but you know when you sit on the airplane and you're looking out the window, take a picture outside they take the plane. Picture of the wind, the airplane <laughs> wind. <laughs> I see the few I people think I know somebody. Yeah, yeah. I see a few people that do that. That come in number um, sixteen, number fifteen, Clyde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know who wrote this list. Number 14. Like Number 14, the mirror pics. Oh, I see a lot of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you in the mirror yeah. taking pics. And the, and the mirror be dirty, too. <laughs> clean, clean your mirror <laughs> first you before you take you the pictures. See all the yeah, and then they take stuff yeah. up in the background. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. no, just Top 25 things like, women yeah. need to stop posting on social media. Number 13, fingernails. Hello, ladies. Y'all do that? You know, I bite my nails. I don't have them. Uh, Mine will never be posted. <laughs> now, see, here go the one you say, I, I bet you do this because you say you go to Jamaica. They tired of seeing women posting pictures or they feet in the sand. Is that you? No, my feet are up on the thing. Oh, they're on the sand. They're on the sand. They're on the sand. They're on the no, I, 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 think Sha, I, I think the voice over here is right. Somebody's very angry. There's nothing left to post. <laughs> and uh, I've never Those seen this Those people are just jealous because they don't got have their feet in the I've never seen this one posted on the social media. Fortune cookies at a number 11. Oh, I just had one of those on my, oh. some, somebody on my friends list just posted. All fortune right. Cookie coming in number, I saw that one. Okay. I see this one a lot. Coming in number 10, coffee art. Huh? You know when people like oh. make a cut of cup of coffee, then they make a smiley face with some. Oh, I've yeah. never seen that. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's usually like on that. Dipley or something. Yeah, one I've of those other that. Twi uh, Buzzfeed Num or whatever. Number nine, fireworks. I don't know, women and y'all into that. Like actual fireworks. Like yeah, the pictures? fireworks. Oh. Yeah. No, we ain't talking about you in your home fighting with your mate. <laughs> <laughs> Not these that kind just, of fireworks. I thought these were gonna be a lot like more exciting. <laughs> Okay, number, hates beauty. These are all somebody that hates fun things. To number eight, at. holding hands. They tired of seeing y'all hold hands. Every time they turn around, you holding hey, each other's hands. I mean, but do they answer the phone when people call? They're holding hands? What? Just what? one. Exactly, huh? What? Hmm? What? You know what that means. Number seven, the eyeball close up. The eyeball close up. I seen that one the other day. I've never seen the eyeball close up. This one I can never understand. Number six, driving in the car. Yeah, I've seen a few people do that. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture while they drive in here. I've seen that. Time in the car. Number five, top 25 things women need to stop posting on social media. The gym selfie. Hello. I agree. I agree with that. I've never seen the gym oh, selfie. I gotta like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that one tonight. Like, <laughs> See, that one. I kind of like them gym selfies, though. I ain't gonna lie. I like them. Number four, your star, Starbucks. You, the people don't know that you went to, don't need to know that you went to Starbucks again today. <laughs> for, the, for the third time yeah. in a row. They need to know that. They want to know what you had. <laughs> Number three. So no. your and your Here we go. The top three things women need to stop posting on social media. Number three, music. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well, they, what they talking no. about is like when people riding in their car and then they hold the you know, camera up to their radio in the car while the music I playing. I know. I get an awful I mean, lot of YouTube not. videos yeah. on mine sometimes. <laughs> I post some. I don't see nothing wrong with that. But okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two. The body slash no head shot. So you'll see yeah, the body. I, with no, I see a lot of that. Yeah, I, see, yeah. I see a lot of that. And the number one thing, and I hate this too, but I do do it. But I try to find funny things to post. Quotes. I hate I that. Oh, I hate quotes. Yeah. I hate that. Some of them be good, but some of them just be like, okay, I'm sick of seeing that. Most people just. Do the same quote over and over. I so. try to find funny pictures and things like that. The them quotes, you know, like it's this one quote up there. 
I'm about to quote the quote. I'm about to quote the quote. You know, like them funny pictures people be putting on, like with them stars and yeah. stuff. And then there's this one on that somebody got that said, it kills me that the woman that you broke up with is on here giving a relationship advice. The one that cheated on you is on here giving relationship, relationship advice. advice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. It is all. Oh, Ladies, are y'all gonna stop doing that? <laughs> we got twenty five things to work that's on. Those that, that's just that's just yeah, that just erases the whole social media. Uh, that's a that's a wrap. That's it. What else? What what is there to post after all that? I know that do sound like somebody hating or somebody having fun. Man, some of that is like some okay, of that is just like people ridiculous. That I think some of that is uh, somebody hate me. Yeah. If somebody's having fun. All right, let's take another quick commercial break. When we come back, uh, let's jump off into some um, NBA DC. Word from our sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM 88.1, WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will and Mr. DC. All right, welcome back to, <coughs> excuse me, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey, D.C. Um, stick to the NFL in one quick second. Uh, you know Jaws. Yeah. He said that yeah. um, Johnny um, Football is a third round or yeah. a later pick. He's just a project. Do you agree or disagree? Would you use your first round pick to pick Johnny Manziel? If he's there and I mm -hmm. need him, yeah. If not, nah, I, I agree. He about a second round pick. But if he's there and not need him, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I would have to go with Clowney. If I was to not have the number one all of the defense. Yeah, yeah. Offense win game. I would I would get him as a first round first pick, but if yeah. he's there and later on in the first round, I would get him. And then it depends on how what you need to True that. You're exactly your Cause some some teams need a quarterback. But I, who got the number one pick? Uh, Houston. Houston. Okay. So that well, do they don't need no quarterback. But if I was, if they I don't. Was, I mean, Matt Shaw. I see <laughs> Matt Shaw had a. I see we talked about this last year. Matt Shaw had a bad season. You can't even judge him off one season. He had a bad season the year before they got him in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. But you know how the business is. Yeah, what, I know how the business is. Like, but they wanted to, they wanted to hang him, man, for having a bad season. Like he only had a bad season. You like sleeping in DC? Yeah. You better get to bed early next Saturday because daylight saving time goes up. Ooh. So we jump up an hour next Saturday. Still gonna suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and spring will be on the twentieth of this month, first day of spring. Bring it on! Just bring it on! Hopefully the snow is gone. Mm. So let's stick with the NFL one more time. Do you know my man, your boy Matt Stafford, picked up man. a seventeen point five million dollar check Friday. So going that was the rest of his um, signing man. bonus from last year. You don't need it. <laughs> you, you ain't show nothing in the season. But you know what? I'm not mad at Matt. But I show you how stupid the Lions organization are. Seventeen million for the season that you done had. Sorry, Sorry. I'm not mad at him. I ain't either, but you know, season y'all had was terrible. And that's why I was trying to tell the guru, you tell myself, uh, Sue's not gonna get paid that money. Yes, he will from them idiots downtown. Of course he is. They just gave this clown seventeen million. Especially if you want to keep him in a Lions jersey, you're gonna pay him that much money. So I mean. I, was, I don't know, it's stupid. 
Because <laughs> I wouldn't have gave him $17 million for the season you had. I had a phone call, man, the other day asked me, was I going to give this fight party with Mayweather? And I nope, don't even, don't even do it. Don't even do it. I told him, I said, I don't even know this guy he's fighting. And don't I'm even not about do to, it. I know, wouldn't even, if I was you, I wouldn't waste I'm my money. I'm not going to even do don't it. Don't even waste your money on that. Because it's going to be a May waste. Third, Everybody know Mayweather going to win, so it's going to be a waste. He's just padding, man. He's just padding his own bank account. I'm not going to be part of it. I'm not mad at Mayweather, but I'm not going to be part of that. It's going to be a waste. Vegas ranks the Tigers as the third best team in Major League Baseball behind the Dodgers and the Cardinals. They got the Dodgers winning 92 games. And the Cardinals winning 90 and the Tigers winning 90. I don't know how they got 90.5. I don't know you can't win no half a game. Is that possible? <laughs> you can't win a half a game. So you can't have a tie. No, not in baseball. They go to extra inning. <laughs> well, you can't have a tie in baseball, but I haven't seen the Tigers, so I, I got to see him first to, to agree with that. I got this list off a of Wall Street cheat sheet. The top NBA career earners. Who do you think number ten is? This year. No, 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 time, all time, time all time. Mm -hmm. This it, gonna surprise you. Some of these names on him. That's a tough one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Number ten, Jermaine O'Neal made one hundred and sixty-eight million dollars. Wow, Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal. That's why I was shocked. <laughs> he was even on the list. <laughs> How he on the list? Um, uh, hold on. Jermaine O'Neal. No. Made, uh, yeah, he made one hundred and sixty-eight million dollars in his base. I mean, his basketball career. Number nine. This one didn't shock me. Was C. Well, Chris Webber. He mm. made one hundred and seventy-eight. Terrible man. He was terrible. Uh, coming in at number eight, Jason Kidd at one hundred and eighty-three I, I million. That. I agree with that. I agree with that. Number seven, Ray Allen. I agree Coming with that in one, at 184 yeah. million. He took a, he took actually a, him and uh, Paul Pierce are tied because he made 184 also. That's shit. What's Dirt, a, uh, Ray Allen took a pay cut yeah. to go to Miami. Dirt. He made 204 million. I agree with that one. Yeah, that's true. Tim Duncan, 224. Who do you think the top three is? Is it LeBron? I put it to you like this. Two even played together. Ooh. Shaq and Kobe? Yep. Okay. Kobe coming in at number three at 279. Shaq at 292. Who do you think the number one player is that have made the most money in the NBA? Now, that's, I was shocked by this name, too. I, I thought, it's like, not, Kobe or... It's not Jordan, so... Is it Jordan? No, that's not Jordan. Jordan that's the, made the most... Money off the court. Oh, off the court. Oh, yeah, because he got yeah, Jordan shoes. shoes. Yeah, he made ninety three million uh, last year off them shoes. Hmm. All he did was just change Number the colors, and that's how I got these idiots <laughs> on the court. Um, the LeBron. Oh. Not off the court. I'm talking about you on, know, on, on the court. And this player is still playing. Oh, that hurt. Uh, I don't know. Kevin Garnett, he made three hundred and fifteen million dollars. Well, he did get a nice little check when he came in the league at eighteen. So you know, so um, I'm not mad at him. Oh uh, yeah, I like KG. KG, my man. Uh, the Knicks cut Ron Artest, world medal piece, or what? Whatever he. He, he Ron Artest to me. Exactly. I'm, I'm not. Play. I'm, I'm not. Right. I'm not calling no man world meta piece. I'm not calling you that. Would you pick him up for a playoff contender team? I think Miami I would. should pick him up. I, would, I think yeah. Miami should pick him up. Cause he'd be a good player coming off the bench. He'd give you about. Danny Granger went to the Clippers. Wow. Uh, Karan Butler. You know he's old now. He went to um, Oklahoma. That might be a good fit, you know. Him. But uh, if I was to Miami, I'd bring him on in. 
That's your only job. He give you about twelve points. Yeah, if you have many points, it's a bonus. Yeah, but that's not what we're bringing you here for. Right, right. It'd be cool. You know, we're bringing you for an yeah, extra body, defense, and rebound. Yeah, I, I, I would. would. Yeah, I would. You know, I mean, it's not like he can't play some ball. No, he got some rings. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I would uh, go ahead. I would call, and, yeah, I would call Ryan on test. Like, I'll put him on in. Yeah. You know, you ain't got nothing to lose. You know, and he's a good player too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Player. I'm saying. I, I would, I would, I would definitely. Get, that's why I'm surprised. Um, because man, you look at this. Uh, I mean, come on, the playoff set up right now. If it was to start today, you got three teams in the East that's under 500 yes. that would make the play. A lot of Pistons is in tenth place. About the Pistons is they not they nowhere the in there. You got the Hawks, the Bobcats, and New Jersey with Brooklyn now. They oh, were actually in their playoffs? 28 and 29. That's shocking. Bobcats 27 and 31. <laughs> and the Hawks 26 <laughs> and 31. The number eight spot. Come on, man. You know the Bobcats will make the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. And going to have the Pistons lottery pick. Oh, terrible. We'll terrible. have they lottery pick. Terrible. 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 Some of you want to say voice. You keep looking over there. I mean. Something you want to get off your chest? I'm just watching the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> that made me Terrible. nervous. <laughs> Terrible. How are you going to make the playoffs in the first round of history <laughs> and then have a pissing draft pick? Show you how stupid they are. They don't know what they're doing. Wow. Really. This is the worst franchise, sports franchise in Detroit right now. The Lions have moved ahead of them. That's shocking. The Lions have moved ahead of them. That's shocking. The lot, matter of fact, the Lions should send the Pistons a Christmas gift. <laughs> they should send them a gift. Thank you for being stupid. Now people don't have to focus on us no more. Thank you. I mean, you. they will when the season starts. Yeah, yeah. but now, nah, you know, it focuses on the Pistons. So, you know, it ain't football season yet. So, we'll see. Draft coming up. Who do you think the Pistons go for? Uh, they were smart. I'd get my man from Michigan State. Yeah. If they no, were smart. Yeah. They need a defensive back. Yeah, they, and they, they say and they say he gonna be there at that pick too. Yeah. And I guarantee you, the Lions will pick somebody else. I guarantee that they always do it. They always do it. It, it, it never, you never heard yeah, of. you gonna be somebody you never heard of, and you be like, who? It's just like <laughs> when I went to one of their draft parties and they picked that offensive tackle. What is it, Riley? What's his name? Riley? What? Huh? You remember that? And then the um, guy. From the Detroit News, he was dying there, Terry Paul. I'm like, come on, Terry. I know, what is this? He said, I ought to make a different pick, too. He said, I don't understand that pick either. He said, I just don't. Who did, like, who did they pick last year? Uh, one of the receivers. Well, I, 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 sure. I, 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 I don't I follow think, them like that. They, I think they did need a receiver last year, but I think the year before, they picked a receiver and shouldn't and passed up on somebody else. I forgot what year that was, but. I was just like the Pistons last year. I had Trey Burke sitting right there. <laughs> and you picked my man from Georgia. Ain't nobody heard of. Can't even get in the line. I was like, Can't wow, even get in the you line. You passed up. up on Trey Burke. All right, DC, we about to wrap it up and get up out of here. Hold on, let me uh, go ahead and uh, give, go ahead and give me your uh, final words. Thoughts. Oh. I'm looking for my new toy. I'm about to start the hoop dog from up in here. <laughs> See if he work. There you go. <laughs> Automatic started. Yeah. Last words. Yeah. Big Ten Championship, Michigan, Michigan State. I'm calling it right here. I'm going Michigan all the way. The guru he called in um, didn't call in because he didn't eating. call in. He I'm, said I'm, I was going to be eating curl. Obviously, he's eating yeah. it and still eating I'm, it. I'm calling it here first, right here on the show. Big Ten Championship, Michigan, Michigan State. I'm going Michigan all the way. Uh, oh, Michigan gonna State. win, but it's gonna be it's gonna be battle of Mi the, uh, State, State of I'm, Michigan. I love Izzo to death. I love Michigan State basketball, but it's, they it's fall they they falling off fast. Yeah. They really are. They, I mean, <laughs> sometimes it's best to get these losses up out of the way now. I get I can understand that. So at least because in the playoffs, it's just a one time thing, and you throw. Yeah, you throw. It's a wrap. Yeah. There ain't no best out of seven, the best right. out of five. It's one game, one game only. Exactly. So all See, right. That's what, that's what the NBA should have. 
Yeah. You know, what about the NFL is then in the playoffs, man, in 2015? We're going to have over half the league in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Damn. Well, that, well, some of the teams this year, like, should have went to the playoffs. But, you know what I'm saying, they didn't because how it affected everybody else. So, I mean, that, that might work. All right, next week I'm on. Uh, we're gonna get up out of here next week. I'm gonna ask DC, do he like it bigger or deeper? And on, on that note, <laughs> I'm not answering that question. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. I'm not. I'm not. We out of here. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Detroit Sports Jersey with your host Will and co-host Mr. DC coming to you live on 88.1 WHPR every Sunday 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live call in numbers 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Also with live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. See our past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. See you next week.